In 2014, KBS World held various global events for Korean Wave fans all over the world. A total of nine winners from each different event were invited to Korea. Their five-day expedition in Korea begins now. Andrea is the first one to arrive. It's really cold here. Kusuma seems very excited. <laughs> Kusuma won the Pitapat Korean event and got invited to Korea. All of them is so handsome. So, so embarrassing. Lede shows off her great Taekwondo skills. I decided to learn Taekwondo. She won the second event of Fall in Love with Korea, held by Kosis really and KBS World. For helping me understand myself. A Korean map in, at home. And I was uh, planning all my trips. <laughs> now I'm here and I, I can't believe it yet. <laughs> That's it. My in flight view the dip. So the next time you step down from the plane, you will look fabulous. This is the first time I'm in Korea, so yeah, let's see. Especially, I'm excited for the food. <laughs> What's their first impression of Korea? So cold. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. I'm not okay. <sighs> it's their first time experiencing the cold. They learned about K-pop, Korean, and Korean culture as they love Korea. They've always been dreaming of going to Korea, and now their dream has come true. I'm so excited. <laughs> Especially that I heard that we will meet uh, an actor from the drama. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> Magdalena is an office worker whose hobby is drawing. She won the grand prize with her webtoon. The first place they'll be visiting is the place they all really wanted to go. It's N Seoul Tower. N Seoul Tower is a famous tourist attraction among foreigners, as it's been introduced in many Korean dramas. They seem excited to be in a place they've seen in dramas. What attracts their eyes are the wish locks. Some of the lockets are cute, like this. This one. Oh, like this one? Oh, yeah. This one too. <laughs> 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 I'm going to make a friend here. I'm going to make a friend here. Another thing that attracts their attention is serene and refined view of Seoul from the tower. They will cherish this moment forever. Precious Memories with Precious Friends, 2014-1225, Christmas in Korea. One day we found out about Korea. It made us laugh, changed our lives, and made us happy. <laughs> Korea was our dream, a desperate dream to be fulfilled. It's like a Christmas present to us. And now we are in Korea, so we are very happy. Korea makes us colorful.
they also wanted to experience Korean traditional costume, hanbo. The beautiful colors and elegance captured the hearts of the Korean Wave fans. Korean Wave stars as well as foreign stars have been here. Roshana was especially interested in hanbo. She can't believe that she's trying it on right now. So cute, so cute, so beautiful. I'm so excited. 36 year old Jello is the oldest Korean Wave fan among them. He looks quite good in the nobleman's outfit. Like a king. She even puts on the bride's headpiece. How do you feel now? <laughs> like a Korean woman. Comfortable. <laughs> yeah, very comfortable. Yeah. Maria looks very good in Hamburg. She seems very happy. I like this. It's right. Many colors. Yeah, I like it so much. Maria is fascinated by the wig. <laughs> you can try. How big? No, no. is it heavy? No, but it's so heavy. So heavy, right? <laughs> My hair. <laughs> Their hearts have become colorful with the colorful hanbo. Hanbo, you wear it. Hanbo, when you wear it, it's And then the shoulders should be like. Curve, curve, no, curve, not curve. curve. You don't need to be. <laughs> that one is like a pose. <laughs> but this is when we get married for the group. We wear that. Oh, yes. Not ready. ready? <laughs> a fashion show was held on the spot to decide who looks best in Hamburg. The participants chose of their elegant Hamburg with modest poses. Is the winner. Roshana's cousin, Paria, won the first place. We tried uh, to show uh, how we fall in love with Korea and show our love. love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy uh, that I walk in my dream and I wear a beautiful uh, handbook. I love handbook! Next, they've come to Changdeokgung, where the kings of Joseon dynasty stay. Changdeokgung has kept the original structure the best among several Joseon palaces. It's designated as UNESCO World Heritage as an outstanding example of Eastern Palace architecture. Even you see the road here, here, wider, higher than the other road, right? This is for king and the queen. And on the right side is for the civilian officer, on the left side is military officer. The representative building of Changdeokgung is Injeongjeon. Injeong means virtuous politics, and it was used when there was big national events. Fancy and colorful designs attract their eyes. Three is harmony, and also the pine tree is like the symbol for longevity. So yeah, they think everything about the architecture. Really interesting. It's very beautiful. Everything is so detailed, uh, and, uh, and those uh, paintings are wonderful. So it looks very noble. They moved to Bukchan Hanok Village, located nearby. Bukchan was the residential for the upper class. The traditional Korean-style houses called Hanok are preserved here untouched. It's very touching to actually see the long history of Korea with their own eyes. In my country, there's not a lot of traditional house. So it's great that they keep it like so traditional. They are just fascinated by the traditional Korean houses that they've only seen in books. They go inside to take a closer look. 
cute dolls go very well with the Han Oak. They suddenly get cheeky. Maria and Andrea follow the dolls' poses. Lovely yet antique Han Oak. They are captivated by the comfort and fascination the wood is giving them. Why are the people all gathered here? What has caught their attention? They see their friends through the divided window. It's very cool and amazing. It's special. It's like I'm in the back then at that moment with this special furniture and windows. It's really nice. It's lunchtime and they've come to a traditional market in the city center. It's to experience Korean food which comes to mind first when you think of Korea. You can have various food without having to worry about price in the markets. At this market you can choose many different kinds of food just like in a buffet. You buy 10 old coins worth $5 to get side dishes for your lunchbox. Will they get to use the phrase Maria taught them? A freebie always tastes great. <laughs> and it's funny to choose uh, your food from this, uh, uh, from this end to hold that kind of money. <laughs> it's Jello's first time trying japje, stir-fried noodles with vegetables. <laughs> Their faces are full of happiness eating Korean food. <laughs> Korea inspires us. They've come to KBS Broadcasting Station to attend the highlight of their five day trip 2014 KBS Song Festival. The end of the year Song Festival is an event that every Korean Wave fan is dying to see. It's also the reason why the winners were invited at the end of the year. Easygoing Hana and the youngest Kusuma are immersed in the trot song. They first learned about Korean Wave through KBS World, and they immediately fell in love with it. This is the place they've always been dreaming to come. Just in time, a KBS drama is in the middle of its shoot. They can't believe they are here at the drama set of a Korean wave drama which they only saw on TV. They can't hide their emotions. During break time, So Gong Joon, a popular star among Korean wave fans, took a picture with them. <laughs> Kusuma suddenly breaks into tears. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't cry. Yeah, okay. So, I love you. I was so nervous and I didn't, I didn't know what can I say. So, I was, oh my God, it's so stupid. I missed my chance. At last, the song festival they've been dreaming of is about to start. The tickets are like precious gold to them. They are overcome with emotion. Yay! To the concert! Yay! Points 
to have this trip, I can say. I'm so excited. <laughs> The show has finally started. Music Bank is the most popular music show among Korean Wave fans and today is the year-end special. They are now sitting at the very site. The K-pop stars that they could only see on TV, they can't help but scream. It feels like a dream to actually see EXO right before their eyes. After learning about Korea through K-pop, they've achieved their dream of visiting Korea solely with their passion. Korean Wave fans don't just stop at listening to music. They even memorize the choreography and dance moves. The excitement is at its peak. So wonderful. They're so they're very organized and it's very fast. It's good. Especially Ailey. Her performance was so perfect. <laughs> like that. <laughs> there are many K-pop stars, so whoa. This is the first time I saw them live, so I'm really excited for them. And I wave to fix and I think they wave me back, but never knew. <laughs> we didn't only learn Korean, but we also learned what friendship really means. It was really a good memory and we won't forget it. Korea makes us one. Yeon Lee clan has lived here in Weon Folk Village for 500 years. 70 thatched houses and Korean tile roofed houses are well maintained here, making this place a very important cultural asset of Korea. People still reside here, so you can feel the lives and warmth of Korean people. As they are getting close to the entrance, Maria can't hide her excitement. Whoa! I like it so much here. What's caught Maria's and her friend's eyes is Jongsung, Korean totem pole. They were quite fascinated to hear that traditional Korean villages have strong looking totem poles in front of their villages as custom. It's like God's guardians. Yeah. It looks like they want to eat us. <laughs> Unlike the fancy and elegant exterior, the inside is very simple, showing the frugal lives of noblemen who just focused on their studies and making ends meet. They quickly moved to see a house in a sophisticated village of thatched houses. Just then, these fermented soybean blocks called meiju caught their eyes. They seemed to be curious about meiju. Meiju looks very ugly to them. This time, they try making yut, Korean taffy. It's Maria's first time touching taffy. The strange feel shocked her at first, but she eventually got used to it. Kusuma is very into it. Is it fun? Hmm? Is it fun? Yeah, and warm. <laughs> Oh, it's so hot. It gets harder and harder. After stretching it for a while, the color began to change from brown to white. What is this? <laughs> Maria's taffy looks very strange. What is this? It's beginning to look pretty good. 
It's done when you tap it after it has cooled. No. Hana follows her, but it isn't easy. <laughs> My own hand. This? So it it caught by itself. Very interesting. The taffy they made tastes pretty good. <laughs> taffy got stuck at Andrea's mouth and shocked him. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah, Korea chocolate, so chocolate. Mm, just like chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to these interesting experiences, they are now more in love with Korea. A place full of energy and warmth of villagers. A place of clean air and beautiful nature. This is a letter you have to find. Two, three, fighting! They all came from different countries and led different lives, but before they knew it, their hearts had become one. <laughs> precious friends they met in Korea. The precious memory of laughing and spending time together will always be in their hearts. They will never forget the laughs they shared together in Korea. It's already lunchtime. The lunch menu is kimchi jjun, kimchi pancake. They try making it themselves. Jello tries flipping the pancake. Very close, but he failed. The village lady demonstrates for them. Okay. Will Hana succeed? Oh. She did it at once. Oh yeah, because I'm an Ajuma. I can do anything. <laughs> Everything that helps them learn about Korea is interesting and meaningful to them. <laughs> Will they like the kimchi pancake? It's more delicious as they made it themselves. The village ladies made dunku, rice cake soup for them. It's the New Year's in a few days. In Korea, it is said that if you have rice cake soup on January 1st, you get a year older. It makes me older. <laughs> Roshana and Paria, who are cousins, are enjoying the soup. She even takes a bite of kimchi. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> it's too spicy for her. Uh, rice cake is very chewy, so it's really good. The most spicy and uh, the beef, it gives the rich flavor to the, uh, to the soup, so it's really good. It's after lunch and various foods have been prepared. What are they doing? They're getting dolled up to experience traditional Korean wedding. Andrea is the groom and when he tried to bow, he fell down. On the other hand, Kusuma the bride is very skilled at bowing the traditional way. The young groom and bride reenact the traditional wedding without any problems. And this is my first time to get married. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Good experience to try marriage in Korean way. So I will never forget this marriage ever. And that was the end of their journey. It's their last night. They spend a meaningful time giving out gifts they prepared, feeling sad. 
So pretty. Wow. I really had a great time here and I can meet a lot of friends from other countries. So thank you KBS for sending me. I would like to spend more time with you guys there. So uh they all come from different countries, but they will cherish their time in this unfamiliar land. Last but not least, the villagers prepared meaningful events for them. It's to fly sky lanterns made of traditional Korean paper, with their wish written on it. With all their heart. They light the lanterns. What did they write as their wish? I wish my, my family stays together and happy. I wish next year will be really, really good. I want to marry Korean. <laughs> Everyone in all of the world feel this feeling that I have now. <laughs> Everyone's earnest wish is flying up into the sky. During the past five days, they experience K-pop, Korean food, Korean culture with their hearts. Korea used to be just a dream, but now they know that if they desperately dream and try hard, their dream will definitely come true. <laughs>